Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, my name is Brian Jenks, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I take notes on videos. Uh, specifically, this is about the Obsidian plugin Media Extended, which if you've seen any of my older videos where I use tools like, um, I think it's pronounced Yeenote or Ynote or something, or Memex, both of which are external tools to achieve the same result that Media Extended does within Obsidian, uh, which is just taking markdown notes from videos in a way that actually is sensical and awesome. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. So in my earlier comprehensive videos, I used various tools to, in essence, get notes and make notes from videos with timestamps to the specific point in time in the video that I was making notes on and getting those into Markdown to put into Obsidian. So ultimately my end result was just Markdown timestamps to that specific point in the video. Click the link, open the video to that exact point in time of the note and have all of this accumulated for each video I took notes upon and put it into Obsidian. Now, Y note, Y note, whatever it is, initially, it was okay, it was it was janky. It was a lot of extra work to just do something simple. Get notes from here into Obsidian. And I shortly, I stopped using it shortly after I made my 2020 uh, video on, you know, my comprehensive 2020 video. And I still get comments and questions about that, that app. I stopped using it pretty much right after that video, which is why I always give the caveat in those videos that everything is always evolving, so Take, take that into consideration. I moved to Memex, which was a browser extension tool that gave me a better experience. I could have a pane open, have the video going, and as I typed a note, a timestamp was generated in the little area of the application extension, and I could just type my notes, hit enter, take a new note, and it was, it was good, it was good. It was not as painful as Yeenote, and it got the job done. And then the Media Extended plugin came out into Obsidian, and this is what I'm using now, and it's what I've been using for months, and it is so much nicer, especially when you combine certain of the commands to hotkeys. It's just, it is the way that I find to be the easiest to take notes on videos the way that I structure everything. So I'm going to show you how to use and set up this application today. The best ways to support the channel are... If you're going to do it on an ongoing basis, GitHub sponsors because they take no fees, followed by Patreon. If you're gonna do like a one-time thing, buy me a coffee, PayPal, or just fine. And if you just wanna support me without any money involved, the best thing you can do is like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and that's it. So firstly, defining the problem. The problem with taking notes on videos is that it's hard. Maybe you need to pause that video, maybe you need to rewind, maybe you need to go, you know, know exactly where that note was from. You want to quickly get there, back to that exact point, because you have, you know, your note from that video that you want to use in another note and you want to regain that context. So, but now you got to search for it because you don't have timestamps because that's a lot of effort. You got to have to, oh, like, it's just so much that can cause a problem with taking notes on a video or video content. So most of these tools that I've used got the job done well enough, but it's always just pain point after pain point after pain point. And Media Extended really just smooths over a lot of those issues with very minimal user intervention. It's absolutely amazing what it can do with minimal hand-holding. And even configuration and setup, it's so much, it's just so easy. So I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to set it up, what my configurations are, and what it looks like in action with the way that I have it set up. So let's dive in. All right, let's pop into Obsidian. So first things first, we need to install the plugin. Now it's gonna be a community plugin, obviously. We're gonna browse for Media Extended, which I already obviously have installed, and you'll just install it, and that's it. There's probably some other stuff that can uh, demos here, but I'll show you simply how I'm using it to just get video notes. And if you want to explore the more advanced options, go nuts. I'm probably going to look more into it too when I start taking even more notes on video content, which I take a, I do a lot of videos. So now that it's installed, what does the configuration look like? So my configuration for Media Extended, 
do, 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 media extended. So I do have, uh, you can write fragments to embed specific fragments of the audio video, yada, yada. Yes, I do that because this is really the key is that I want these timestamps so that um, this is probably for the double bracket links instead of the timestamps, which is, this is useful if you want to link to a video that you have inside of your vault. Like this is an actual file that you have and you want to link to a specific point in time on the file. That's useful, so I have it on. The real thing I like is timestamps for media, which, yeah, same thing for that above. Now, embedded Im image syntax, embed the video audio, I guess. This, I guess, would replace the, uh, for this, for local files, but would, I guess, replace the iframes if you had the file instead of and just having it in the browser. Either way, sometimes you might actually want to have that hard copy of the file and use that and embed that and take notes upon that. I actually have some, uh, one of my other vaults, I do the same thing. I download the media files because I don't want them to disappear because they're really good knowledge. So here's the real meat is my timestamp template. So inside of my actual note template, I just start off with a bullet point and there's nothing else, no content, just an empty bullet point because, and I'll show you why later, but this is the real key here is timestamp in the double brackets, just like the embedded uh, native templates, timestamp. This will actually embed the markdown link to the specific point in time of a video that you have playing right where you know the cursor is. Now, because of the way that it inserts media, uh, if I had two pieces of feedback for media extended, it would be to place the cursor after the timestamp and it would be to, um, shoot, I thought I had another uh, piece of feedback. I think I actually might be the only one is place, oh yeah, and then the focusing on the link insertion modal, which I'll show that in a bit. So these these points of critique will come up in a second. And the reason why is that I actually have to use templater right here with the cursor thing to actually move my cursor effectively without having to use the mouse so that I could just incessantly take notes as the video is going without having to have my hands leave the keyboard. So this is how I approach it. Timestamp, template, a space, and then the templater cursor uh, thing so that I can jump to there. I don't have anything with that. I don't do those. Uh, player controls, I, other than restart and actually I should probably have that one on. Uh, and then picture in picture, I don't need. I think I left these, most of these defaults. Hide recommended, yeah, cause I don't care. And that's it. Most of this is bare bones configuration, but the real important thing is this, my template here. So after you have that set up, you installed it, you got it set up. How do we use media extended? So you don't even have to download the video. You don't have to have the video embedded as an iframe in your notes. I do that specifically because I want to and I like it. So there you go. But what I can do is I have a sample note here. This is one that I watched before. I haven't taken the notes on it because I wanted to rewatch it, but I just got sucked into it at the time. Really interesting. Guy explains uh, some concept to five different levels of people's understanding and has to it shows great teaching skill. So how do I take notes on this video? Do I play it here? No, you don't have to. So what I can do is, and this I'm going to now present my actual live workflow with videos, is I need to copy this link. Okay, copy the URL. I got it to my clipboard. I can place my cursor there. And I haven't assigned a hotkey to this because I figure it's just easy to do this once because you only need to do this part once. So I'm gonna open the command for media extended if my computer doesn't lag, open media from link. This is where you're actually going to provide the link and open the video for note taking. So here's my first point of critique is that if I do this and I try to paste, nothing happens because this little box here does not have focus once the modal opens. That's my first issue is that I don't wanna to have to come over and then grab the mouse, click here, and then give it focus to paste. I want it to immediately grab the focus of the cursor so I can paste the link, hit enter. That's another one is that I can't just hit enter from here and move it the modal forward. I can't even tab to focus on the open button. I need to actually click that. That's annoying to me. Now I do like how the video immediately starts playing. Normally people hate that, but this is actually beneficial because I can just go straight into note taking. So I'm going to mute this so that you don't hear that and it's not annoying us. And so as that's going, if it just opened right up, which I'll, I'll redo, 
So open the link, media open, okay. Uh, pain point, paste the link, open. Now where's my mouse cursor? Where's the focus? Okay, third point of critique I didn't even think about is now my focus should be returned to the note that I was originally on. So I want it back here at the bullet point. That is another pain point. But now if I you know, want to take notes on this video, I don't have to click anything, I don't have to do anything, which is this is where the magic of this plugin comes in, is that now I have a hotkey that I bound for this, which is in my case on a Mac keyboard, option M. Option M automatically creates the timestamp with a link to that video at that timestamp. This will go straight out to YouTube, actually. But now the timestamp for that particular point in time, you can see 28 seconds passed already, I already took the timestamp. I can take notes now and have a link directly back to that timestamp. But where's my cursor? It's at the beginning of the insertion, which is the timestamp um, actual text. Hence, that's annoying, which is why I have to use Templater in this point to actually jump my cursor forward to where it should be to take notes if my computer stops lagging. So that is a pain point for me as well. So three total pain points for media extended, but by and large, these are not super painful, far better than any other thing I've tried for video notes that is also free because this doesn't cost you anything. So this is a great, great tool. And the reason why I don't have anything at the beginning of the timestamp insertion, like a bullet, is that because I already have a bullet here in the note. So as soon as I hit enter, it creates another bullet in the live preview mode. If I inserted the timestamp now, now it has double bullets and it gets weird formatting where versus I can just do option M, go to Templar cursor, notes, and now I can keep on typing. So I can do this live as the video is playing in the right hand side, don't have to download it, don't even have to have an iframe. I can just have media open, take notes on it, and that's it. That is awesome. It's already in Obsidian, it's formatted in Obsidian, and it's good to go. That is an awesome piece of software. Great job to whoever made this and definitely support them because this is one of the most valuable plugins because it's so hard to take notes on actual videos and get like those granular timestamps out. Papers and podcasts, podcasts have like things like Air, A-I-R-R -R, for like Mac and Apple users. And you got research papers and articles. Like there's so many tools just about written text, but with video content, very, very under, there's just not a lot of tools and approaches out there for good video note taking. So I really like this. And if you want to see how I set up the hotkey specifically for this one, if you go to media extended, media extended, get current timestamp of, uh, from player. So if a recording, I'm guessing this is probably from an actual file that you have that you're playing in another pane or something. But this is the one that actually opens up the video in the other pane. And this one is the one that grabs the timestamps from the current player. And because I only have to do this once to open the video, but I'm doing this incessantly to take notes, this is the only one that actually in my eyes merits getting a, a hotkey key binding and option M. So I can easily just take those notes, continue on. Bam. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome plugin. So check it out, support the developer if they have some support links, it's really great. I know I haven't made a lot of Obsidian content lately. I've just been, you know, I can't get a lot of investment of time into some of these videos right now and some of the research that requires is a little bit much for what I have available right now, but this is a quick one and just a very high value added one. And I hope that you really enjoy this, this plugin and know that it exists because this is how I take notes on videos and it makes it such an easy and less painful process. I'm probably going to address the whole elephant in the room of the community about Zotero 6 and the note taking on Zotero relatively soon. It's on my roadmap. I'm, I'm gonna have to get around to it. I may have found some a tool that helps with that, but stay tuned for that. But hopefully you enjoy the Media Extended plugin because it's one of my favorites and makes my life so much easier. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with Media Extended, what you like about it and how you use it and any advanced configuration that you use with it. Uh, if you've got something to teach me, I'd love to learn it. 
And uh, a big shout out to all the patrons and sponsors. Thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, I know it's, the content's been a little slow lately, but I greatly appreciate your continued support. It really makes it all worth doing. Uh, thank you, and I will catch you all in the next one.